Hello and welcome to my channel. Before starting, first have a look at this patient. Tracheostomy was done to this patient and in the immediate postoperative period, the patient developed respiratory distress along with swelling at the region of upper chest, neck and the face. And this is a case of surgical emphysema. So what is surgical emphysema? Surgical emphysema is the presence of air in the tissue. It is also known as subcutaneous emphysema or tissue emphysema. So what is the pathogenesis? Why does this happen? For the development of surgical emphysema, two things must happen. Number one, breach of the air containing hollow viscous in communication with the soft tissue and number two, generation of a positive pressure that push the air into the tissue. And these two things can happen due to some etiologies. These are ruptured esophagus, laryngotracheal trauma, fracture of the maxilla or mandible, fracture of the floor of the orbit after tracheostomy if the suture is too tight or if the tracheostomy opening is too large. Upper area obstruction due to foreign body, poorly managed chest drain tube, high pressure positive ventilation or barotrauma from positive ventilation and interestingly it can occur in asthmatic patient and in patients with infections like gas gangrene. So what are the sites of development of surgical emphysema? Since air comes from the chest cavity, surgical emphysema usually develops at the upper chest, neck and facial region where the air can come from the chest into the tissue plane. So what are the clinical findings? The symptoms are respiratory distress of the patient and swelling at the region of upper chest, neck and face. The signs we can find are crepitations on palpation of the swollen region, crunching noise over the heart, this is called Hamann sign due to air in the mediastinum. Neck veins will be swollen, there will be asymmetry of chest region, patient will be seen to give excessive respiratory effort and the respiratory pattern will be irregular. So how to manage a case of surgical emphysema? Surgical emphysema is usually benign unless there is development of tension pneumothorax or cardiac tamponade. And the management is according to etiology. If surgical emphysema develops due to pneumothorax, then chest drain tube must be given. If surgical emphysema develops after tracheostomy, we should check if the suture is too tight. If the suture is tight, then the suture must be immediately released. And we should also see is there any secretion obstructing the air flow through the tracheostomy. Severe cases of surgical emphysema can be managed by placing a catheter in the subcutaneous tissue for the release of air. And small cuts or blow holes may be made over the skin for release of the entrapped air. So at the end, surgical emphysema is a cardinal sign of airway breach and it must be investigated carefully. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.